It's actually, it says look out for Highland cows. So apparently there's Highland cows here. <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to Rowdy Set Go, where we do park runs to half marathons. So, just me today, I'm afraid Reese is away with work again, but today we are at Alton Water Park Run. Now, just take a second and look at this. How stunning is this view? Amazing, but literally, I've got here, got about half an hour to go, and just having a look around the facilities at the minute, but so far, so good. So, Alton Water Park Run, we are just on the outskirts of Ipswich. Um, no, I'm not too far away, and it's quite a remote park run. Um, the roads here were quite narrow and in the middle of nowhere, and I think this is quite a small park run. So, I looked on the 5k app, and it's about 100 people per park run, so it might be like quite a nice, just little local one, which will be lovely. Well, people are slowly starting to turn up, which is quite reassuring because, to be honest, I'm not quite sure where I'm going. I've seen a sign to the start, so we'll just have to end up following that and the crowd as we usually do. And, well, always seems to work out in the end, but this park is so nice. So I've just spotted the Crazy Golf, which we do love some Crazy Golf. There's a nice little child's park just ahead of me there. And then the actual lake itself is used for all water sports. So they have like the open swimming um, and then like all the little bits they do. I can't tell you because I'm not that knowledgeable on all the sports they do, but it is such like a phenomenal view. This is definitely going to be a scenic park run. <laughs> I've just had a wander around and there is a cafe here, which we do like, and there's a great fact board, so I can fill you in on all the facts at the end. Um, but this route, it's a two lap route and it starts by the cow enclosure. And then it's just a mix of trail, gravel, mud, puddles, a bit of everything. Um, so yeah, we've gone for the trail shoes today and there's actually, it says look out for Highland cows. So apparently there's Highland cows here, so I love Highland cows, so hopefully we get to see some and I will make sure to show you, but what a, what a good sight to see on your park run, you don't see that at every park run. Right, so we've got about 15 minutes till the start, I'm just doing a little jog over, so hopefully I find the right place. Um, I'm wearing my Malden half t-shirt today, because you know, did that last weekend and got to represent and hopefully I might see someone else in the same t-shirt. But yeah, heading over, and hopefully we can catch this brief. It's a two lap course, clockwise trail starting here, going around that way, finishes just here. Um, there's a mixture of gravel, grass and mud, so you might not go home completely clean, but apparently it's not too bad on foot, so that's good. Um, sit here and finish down with it here. Um, try and keep to the left unless you're overtaking, because there's obviously other um, cyclists, so just be aware, especially on these tracks, often like cyclists coming down. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the halfway point here, so then you'll go around and do another, and do, do another lap. And other than that, I'll do the main briefing in a minute, but that's, I think that's all you need to know, unless you've got any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that is first time as brief done. So it doesn't sound too complicated, just a two lap course, again, on like the gravel grass track. And then it comes like back around to the finish here, another lap, and then we're finishing at the exact start point, which is good. So about five minutes to go, and then we'll get to the stop. Um, thanks to all the brilliant volunteers, and if you ever want to help in future weeks, just let us know, we'll be happy to help. Any milestones today? 250. 250. Uh, any other tourists today? New market. New market. Right. Lower stuff. Lower stuff. <laughs> you have a first aid kit and an aid here at the finish area. 
Um, any children under 11 must be accompanied by an adult. Um, all dogs must be kept on a short, handheld, non-extendable lead with no waist harnesses, please. Um, no spitting, for obvious reasons. Uh, please give way to all other park uh, users. Just be aware of any bicycles, because obviously we share it with, um, with the park. Exchange the car park ticket in the cafe for one pound, rather than paying a machine, because it would be a lot more expensive to do that, so make sure you do that rather than shelling out for what you'd usually pay. Apparently the course is fine, considering all the rain is still fairly firm, so it's not that fine. Um, it's, a no, uh, it's a no barcode, no time event, so um, you can show your barcode on the watch or mobile phone or however you've got it, that's fine. And other than that, if we're all ready to go, two, one, go! go. So starting along the silk gravel track. But yeah, we did the welcome brief and that was like straight into the start, so it was an immediate get to the start line and then we were off. So good job, the watch was ready, but yeah, we're just on this gravel track now. Lovely scenery so far. But so we go. over half a mile and on the grassy section quite rutted as well so you really got to watch your foot in but it's very like intertwining which is nice can't really see what's coming but it's so scenic like I've said so beautiful but definitely not a PB one because it's pretty tricky to run on there. Oh, there they are quickly spot them the Highland girls right we'll make sure to look out for those in the second lap but I think there's a couple others dotted around the course. So I'll keep a look out. <laughs> that is one lap done. Halfway through, just passing the finish line there. So I'll do it all over again. But space out a bit now. Got my own little space. And we keep going. Alright, that is two miles. One and a bit to go. Push a bit now little ups and downs here and there but it's a lovely course so so pretty oh, and it's nice you can see where people loop back but back on the track now nice little straight let's keep pushing to go not too far and past the island girls slightly moved a bit but all we got with it there he is oh back down to the lake around back up into the hills of the village let's go About 10 minutes to finish. Marshall told me I'm first lady, so we'll take that. Last corner. Let's go all the way in. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, we've done it. Oh, that was tough. Oh, 
also know what's about gun complete and how do i do i got seventh overall so we'll take that and a first lady so top 10 finish not too shabby on that little technical course but i'll give you more of a debrief at the end but i'm proper sweating from that it was a hard one but very enjoyable hey well done she's a little bit there <laughs> well done. Gosh, caught my breath, and now it is a barcode scanning time. So let's get these scanned in. Hello. That one. Oh, thank you. Scanned in. Look at that, some little cupcakes at the end. What a way to finish your park run, which is so lovely to see. So, if you do come to Alton Water, look out for the cakes. Well, there we have it, Alton Water Park Run complete. So, I did that one in a time of 22 and a half minutes, so 7.13 minute mile average. But it was such a lovely little route, so it was this two loop and it was quite undulating actually some like rusted grass bits but it had amazing views of the lakes on parts of it and got to see the highland cows like four times which is so cool so if oh and here we go speak of the cows there they are what a great little park run and if this park run couldn't get even better there's an on-site campsite which would have been perfect for us because we love going away and there's actually people with their little tent boxes. How cool is that? So, if Alton Water is a bit far out for you and you like the outdoors, come and camp here and you're literally 200 meters from the start line. What a perfect place to stay. So, just on my way to pay for parking. So, described at the beginning for the parking, on entry to the park, you get a parking ticket. And then once you've finished your park run, you take it to the cafe that's on site and then you just got to pay one pound for parking otherwise it's two pounds an hour so pay one pound you don't have to be paying more and you just take it to literally the little cafe that's right near the visitors car park and then we've got this little map so it's not too in detail but basically we're down here near the cafe and visitors center and then the actual route was kind of just around this area here. I'm not too sure because it's not like got all the paths on it, but we went into the woods a bit and then we had like the lake on parts of the view. So that's pretty much the gist of it. And then, yeah, we've got Ipswich all the way up here. So yeah, we're just, just below, but what a stunning place to be. And there's us down there in Colchester. Facts, facts, facts. Here we are at the Alton Water History Board. So, in the 1960s, it was recognised there was an increasing demand for water supply. So, in 1978, they completed the new reservoir, which was filled from the River Gipping, and they created the dam. And then, further forward, they in 1987, they created the water treatment pilot plant so that they could produce uh, high quality drinking water and uh, fully automatic control, which is pretty cool. And now to this day, we enjoy unlimited supply of drinking water, but going back in the 1850s, only one third of Ipswich actually had mains water supply and only four streets in the town had pipes long enough to supply the firefighter pipes. So if you had a fire back then, you are pretty stuffed because chances are low and you wouldn't have been able to have the firefighters come to you. But shows you how much it's developed. And where do the Highland cows come into it, I hear you say? Well, the Angulan water supply actually purchased the Highland cattle as a way of maintaining the grassland. And throughout the year, they graze the meadows to keep it all maintained. And fun fact as well, the Highland cow is the oldest registered breed of cattle in the world. And they're right here in Alton Water. So if you're near, make sure you come and see them. So parking is paid for, really simple. You just take your ticket to the front desk with your pound and they exchange it for your paid ticket, which you insert um, in the machine when you leave. And I couldn't resist. And I've gone for a hot chocolate. So I haven't had one of these in a while in the vlog, I don't think, but I couldn't resist. They look delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy that. Um, have a little walk around and then I'll probably head back soon. 
So I've just enjoyed my delicious hot chocolate from the cafe and just heading back to the car now. Had a little walk around, but even if you just wanna have a walk around with your dogs or with the family, it's such a stunning place and I really do recommend coming here. It has been such a beautiful park run to be at. But um, I think we're gonna close the vlog off here. So I just wanna shout out to all the marshals and volunteers for making this happen and for giving us such a spectacular park run. So thank you to everyone who has supported today's run. And until next time, be kind, be happy, run well. See you at the next vlog.